でんでんでんでん。Hello, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to weekly Korean life class. My name is Keiji. 안녕하세요, Keiji입니다. 안녕하세요, Chinchi입니다. How are you guys? Thank you so much for joining today's class. 안녕하세요, Maya, Sumi, uh, Ananya, and Ayan. <laughs> 안녕하세요. Welcome, welcome. Today we are going to talk about very, very important Korean grammar, which is 을게요, 을게요. This is one of the future tense, which is used very commonly. I would say, if you watch Korean drama, one Korean drama, I'm pretty sure someone will use this grammar in the drama, in every episode. It's that much common and that much important so please keep watching the video until the end and jeffrey 안녕하세요 enzo trevon disha julia chris kd yay <laughs> disha 저는 잘 지내요 disha 씨도 잘 지내요 <laughs> 만지리 안녕하세요 emily excited for today's class actually me too <laughs> philly says morning and good afternoon good evening to you and all the other students from all over the world. Clumsy cut. 안녕, 안녕. <laughs> okay, so we are on YouTube and Facebook. So let's start. And as usual, <laughs> I want to wait a few more minutes for more students to join this class. And I have 공지사항. 공지사항. 공지사항이 있어요. I have an announcement. What announcement? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh, well, maybe I should change to this. My favorite one. <laughs> I really love this so far. Yay! Mini Cajun. <laughs> Mini Cajun is this thing, but anyway. Then, if you click the link in the description, you will see a page like this. Da -da -da -da. This is our PDF page. PDF. Where you can download lots of tons of free PDF cheat sheets to practice Korean. <laughs> uh, Lenny, Yasai, 안녕하세요. <laughs> Enzo, that's such a cute uh, emoticon or emoji. <laughs> uh, good night greeting. Oh, wow. I'm sure it's very late there, right? <laughs> Sumi, wow. 운동하느니 공부할래요. That's what we learned last week. Excellent review. <laughs> If you want to learn the new grammar that we learned last week, check out my previous video. Anyway, let's talk about this free PDF page. Then if you scroll down, wow, these free Korean cheat sheets, cheat sheets, PDF cheat sheets are all for free if you are a member of Korean class 101.com. So do I have to pay to become a member of Korean class 101? Nope, this is completely free. Of course, we do have paid membership, but to download this PDF, well, you don't need a paid membership. Just log in as a free member and download everything. Cool, there are a lot. And next week, I'm going to introduce some worksheets. So if you're a member, there are always so many things to get for free on Korean Class 101. So check out the link in the description. Enjoy in Korean Class 101. It's so cool, isn't it? <laughs> I really like this scene. Mini KG with big screen. <laughs> anyway, the link is in the description. Okay, so. Jan, Jan, uh, KD, uh, Enzo, Jeffrey, Ayan, Sumi, Clumsy, and Lenny. Are you ready? Jay, ah, 안녕하세요. Long time no see. <laughs> okay, so. Let's go. Today's lesson is the future tense. Mm, I'm thinking, which scene should I choose? This? <laughs> My favorite? Mini Cajun. <laughs> 짠! 을게요. 을게요. This is one of the future tense. And if you really want to translate that, it will be I will or let me. So let's go. Let's look at more details. 짠! So before that, yes. If you are interested in downloading this free Korean learning cheat sheet, it's all PDF and free. Uh, the link is in the description, so check it out. <laughs> okay, so 짠! 
Yes, as I just mentioned, if you really want to translate that, it will be I will, I will, el let me. El, have you noticed something? Yes, the translation is not you will or she will, he will, they will, nope, nope, it should be always I will or we will. So it's for, it's only applicable for first person, first person, which is I or we, I or we. So it can be let me, let me, or let me, or let us, let us. And this is the sentence ending used to express the speaker's intention or promise to perform an action in the future. Mm. <laughs> it sounds difficult, right? What does it mean? So basically, basically, it's just uh, an expression to talk about your intention or speaker's intention or promise. For example, for example, I'm a mom. <laughs> I'm a mom. Chim Chim is my baby now. <laughs> So I opened Chim Chim's door. <gasps> oh my goodness, what happened to your room? Like there are all the books on your uh, bed. And what happened to the floor? There are all the garbages. And look at your desk. There are like, I don't know. There are lots of uh, random things. What happened? And you can say, oh, I will clean it, mom. I will clean. Mom, I will clean. What? Oh, let me clean, let me clean. So it shows your promise. Okay, I listen to you and I will do something. So here, the most important keyword is your intention. Intentions here. Let me, John, your intention. Oh, okay, I will do that. I will do that. I will do that. Or, oh, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, I'll do something. So. This is often used as a future tense because when you talk about your intention and promise, usually it's about future. If it's a past, well, you cannot promise or can't show your intention because it already happened, right? But for the intention and promise, this will uh, happen in the future. So a lot of people think this is also one kind of future tense. But please remember, please remember this is only used for the first person, I or we, let me or let us. <laughs> okay, John, let's look at some conjugations. So here we go. The conjugation is simple. Just get the verb stem here, <laughs> verb stem and put 을게요, 을게요, 을게요. You can either choose 을게요 or 밀게요, when. So for example, mm, I have this word, 보다, oops, 보다. Do you know what it means? It means to watch, to see, to look. So you 보다, 보다. So you want to say, uh, let me see, let me see. Or I will watch, I will see, I will have a look, I will look. So you want to conjugate it with this grammar. How can I conjugate it? First, get the verb stem. What is a verb stem? Verbs, verb stem is always simple. Korean verb and adjective ends with 다 at the end in the dictionary form. As in, 보다, 보다. What is the verb, verb stem here? Stem? 보 is a stem. Oops. <laughs> 보 is a stem. Just remove 다 and you have 보, 보 is a stem. Let's look at 보. 보. It consists of these two parts and 오, 오, 오. It ends with the O sound which is a vowel. A vowel, right? O, o, o. So you are using the first one. 리을게요, 리을게요, 짠, 리을게요. So when you combine this, when you combine this, 보 and 리을 are combined as in 볼 and 볼게요. So I'll see, I will watch. So for example, I'm 심심 mm, is learning Korean. <laughs> and I'm a Korean learner too, so I'm saying chim chim. <gasps> you know, do you know teacher Kajin <laughs> from Korean Class 101? She has lots of video on YouTube, Facebook, and Korean Class 101, and her lessons are so helpful. 
So check it out. <laughs> check it out. So Chim Chim said, oh, really? Okay. I will watch her videos. I will take her lessons. Or I will, um, yeah, check out her lessons. <laughs> so you can say, uh, Kaizen 선생님 강의를 볼게요. Oh, okay. So if that's the case, I will watch. Uh, I will watch the lessons of Kajin, Teacher Kajin. Kajin is my name. Kajin, 선생님 means teacher. So Teacher Kajin is Kajin 선생님, and 강의 means uh, lessons. Lesson. So Kajin 선생님 강의 means Teacher Kajin's lessons. Teacher Kajin's lessons. 르 object mark is a particle. 볼게요 means I will watch. So you are basically um, saying your intention. Oh, okay. So since you suggested that, I'll show you. <laughs> this is my intention. I'm going to watch. I will watch. I will watch uh, teacher Kajin's lesson. So Kajin 선생님 강의를 볼게요. So you're saying your intention, right? Your intention. You didn't have this intention before I tell you Teacher Cajun's lessons are awesome. But you decided because of me, because of me, and you are saying, thanks to you, I made a decision and I will watch that. Okay. <laughs> Another example. Mm, how about this? Ipdak. Ipdak. So, Jan, let's look at this. Ipdak. Do you know what it means? Ipdak. That means to wear or to put on. You wear coats, you wear um, t-shirts, you wear dress. <laughs> so, ipta to wear. So, what is a stem here? Stemmy, stemmy simple. <laughs> Katie, clumsy, Enzo, uh, Mayara, Kate, uh, SH. Thanks for the comment. <laughs> so, what's a stem? Stem is ip, ip, ip. It consists of E, e. It's ending with consonant sound. E, e. Yeah, it's ending with consonant. So what happens? Since it ends with consonant, you need to conjugate. 울게요. 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 As in, 입을게요. So I'm telling you. Tomorrow, it will be very cold. Very cold. I know you're very weak, Chim Chim. So you should wear a coat and make sure to bring your muffler and gloves. So Chim Chim is saying, mm, So, okay, so I will wear warmy. Tatte means warmy, warmy. And 입을게요 means I will wear, I will wear. So with this grammar, you choose your intention and also promise. And usually is respond to someone. So you make a promise and you show the intention after listening to someone. So it's a response to someone. Okay, let me promise you. I, pro I promise you. <laughs> okay, and also another thing that you have to remember is is for first person only. So the, sub, the subject should be always I or we, I or we. It can never be you. You will do something or she will do something. He will do something. They will do something. Boo, 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 boo. That doesn't work. It should be I or we, I or we. And then another example that I have for you is mm, 놀다. <laughs> A lot of people's favorite verb, I think. 놀다. 놀다 means to play. To play. So, what's the stem here? Stem is 놀, right? 놀. Okay, since the stem ends with consonant, do I have to use 을게요? As in 놀을게요? 놀을게요? I'm sorry, but nope, this is an exception. So 
if verb stem ends in consonant ㄹ, ㄹ, it's not 놀을게요, but it's only 개요, 놀게요, as in 놀게요. Why? Because 놀다, 놀, 놀. This stem already include the ㄹ sound, ㄹ, 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 ㄹ. This ㄹ pronunciation already, so you don't have to put ㄹ pronunciation again. It already exists. So instead of putting duplicated ㄹ, ㄹ sound, just put ㄱ at the end, as in 놀게요. 놀게요 means to play, to hang out, to have fun. So, I'm a mom. Oh, 심심 again. <laughs> I'm a mom. <laughs> so, 심심 said, uh, I'm going to hang out with my friends, Mimi. <laughs> and I'm saying, oh, but do you remember? It's your grandfather's birthday, so we are going to have dinner together. So, you're saying, okay, uh, I promise you, I will only hang out with her uh, by 5 p.m. 5 p.m. 5시까지만 놀게요. 5시까지만 놀게요. 5, 5, 5, 시 means o'clock. So it shows the time. 5 o'clock is 5시. 까지 means by or until. 만 means only. So 5시까지만 means by 5 p.m. only. 놀게요. To hang out. So, okay, let me hang out by 5 p.m. only. Let me uh, hang out or let me uh, have fun or let me uh, play some games with Mimi by 5 p.m. only. So 놀게요 shows my intention and uh, promise. Intention and promise. And usually you use this grammar to respond uh, to someone, respond to someone or mm, or only for first per first person only. Remember, this is important, so I'm repeating many, many times. Okay, are you ready with this grammar? <laughs> good, good. Okay, so let's move on to the next page. Ja, let's practice the conjugation. <laughs> Can you conjugate 있다 with 을게요? 을게요? By the way, one thing that I want to say is this. I gray out you at the end. You. Because this is not mandatory. This is optional. If you want to say politely, then put you at the end. For example, if you're talking with uh, your neighbor or someone who is older than you or strangers, then put you. But if you're talking with your family members like brother and sister, or you're talking to someone who is much younger than you, or you're talking to uh, your close friend, your best friend, of the same age, same age, then you don't need to put you at the end. So 을게 is okay. Or if you're talking to your teacher or your colleagues, <laughs> then put you at the end. Very good. We got the answer. So 읽다 means to read. And let me read, let me read this. 읽을게요. 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 Okay, so 읽을게요. For example, uh, let me write it here. So 읽을게요. So for example, I'm a teacher. <laughs> And Chim Chim is a student. And Chim Chim is um, telling me that I want to improve Korean, but I don't know what to do. So I, I recommend him reading books in Korean would improve your Korean. Read books in Korean, that's really helpful. So Chim Chim is saying, yes, teacher, I will. I will read books in Korean. 한국어 책을 읽을게요. 한국어 책을 읽을게요. 한국어 means Korean. 책, 책, books. 읽을게요. I will read. I read Korea, uh, Korean language book. Or 한국어로 된 책을 한국어로 
된 한국어로 된 책 means uh, books written in Korean. So, 한국어로 된 책을 읽을게요. 한국어로 된 책을 읽을게요. So, you are promise me because I tell you something and you are responding to me. Ah, oh, Sumi, awesome. You got the answers. Then how about this? Let's try this one, exercise. How can I say, okay, I will exercise. <laughs> can you conjugate? 운동하다, 을게요. Okay, so um, now, 운동하다. So now, I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. And Chim Chim is saying, doctor, I'm getting a lot of weight. And I feel my body is very happy and de heavy. And I feel very tired these days. What should I do? What should I do? And I'm saying, Please exercise. Exercise is a great, great, great way to lose your weight and be uh, to become healthier. So I said, "Aha, okay, I will exercise. I promise you. I promise you, uh, I will exercise. I will exercise. I will exercise." How can I say that? Julia and Claudio, very good. <laughs> 운동하 is the same, and 운동하 아, 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 it ends with a vowel sound. So I'm using. 읽게요. And I should combine 하 with 리을 as in 할게요. 운동할게요. Okay, let me exercise. I will exercise. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> 운동할게요. By the way, for those of you who just joined the live, John, do you see this banner? Get free PDF cheat Yes. <laughs> we are now giving away free PDF cheat So check out the link in the description and get free PDF cheat Okay, <laughs> next, next, we have this word, to buy, to buy. And how can I say, I will buy, I will buy, I will buy it, how can I say that? So we have this word, 사다, 사다. So let me give you some situations. You uh, came to, um, you went to some shop. <laughs> <laughs> went to a shop to buy a cell phone, new smartphone. So there are two smartphones, this and this, this and this. So I'm saying this, I'm a, a shopkeeper, I'm, sell, I'm a, a smartphone seller. So I'm saying, oh, this phone is a little bit more expensive, but it has lots of um, memory. <laughs> and this is the latest uh, version. And this phone is relatively reasonable and fast, and this is actually the most popular these days. Um, if you want some mm, reasonable, reasonable priced phone with good functions, <laughs> I recommend this. So I said, aha, uh -huh, okay, I will buy this smartphone. I will buy. So you made a decision. You made decision because of me and you're re responding to me. Responding to me. So you want to say, I will buy it. I will buy it. So let's conjugate it. Ta is a step, right? Ta. Aha. Uh -huh, it ended with vowel sound. So I need to conjugate it with 딜게요. As in, 탈게요. I combine this as in 탈게요. 살게요. So, 이 스마트폰을 살게요. 이 스마트폰을 살게요. 이 means this. And 스마트폰, 스마트폰 means a smartphone. Smartphone. 살게요. 살게요 means I will buy. So, I'll buy this smartphone. For intermediate learners, I give you one uh, particle here. Smart, 이 스마트폰으로, 로엔으로, is a particle that you use after a noun when you make a choice, when you choose something, when you choose something. Mm, among this, I buy this, I buy this. So uh, we are going to talk about this particle very soon. I think early in June <laughs> or sometime in June. <laughs> so very soon, very soon. So just a Preview, yes. When you make a choice among many of this, you use this particle. Mm, this, this. So, 이 스마트폰으로 살게요. 
Good. You made a decision. This is your uh, intention. So, 이 스마트폰으로 살게요. Or, now I have this word. 살다. 살다 meaning to live. To live. 살다. <laughs> 살다. So, how can I conjugate it? 살다. So, let me give you some situation. Situation. Mm, imagine. I'm a mom again. Or I'm a father now. <laughs> I'm a father. Or I'm a parent. I'm a parent. And Chim Chim married to Mimi. <laughs> so Chim Chim will live with Mimi from now on. And we've been living for many, many years with parents. So I'm saying, oh, Chim Chim, so please live well. Live well with Chim Chim. Don't fight and always be happy. And Chim Chim is saying, Okay, don't worry, don't worry, mom and dad. I will, I will live well. I will live well. Promise you, I promise you. I will live well. How can I do that? <laughs> First, let's get the stem. Stem is 탈, 탈, 어, 살. It already contains the 리을, 리을, 을, 을, 을 sound, so I don't have to put extra 을 sound, so just put 개요, 개요. 살게요. 살게 means I will live. But I want to say I will live well. I will live well. 잘. 잘 is an adjective. It means well. So I live well. 잘 살게요. 잘 살게요. And have you noticed? If you conjugate 사다 with 을게요, it becomes 사, 살게요. 살게요. <laughs> And if you conjugate with 살다, with 을게요, 을게요, it's also 살게요. So how can I know if it's uh, I will buy or I will leave? How can I know? You see the context. You see the context. So you guess the meaning. Hmm, it means to buy or to leave. Yes, basically the conjugation is the same. So please see the context. Context and uh, understand if it means to buy or to leave. <laughs> okay, now let's look at this. 끊다, 끊다, 끊다. It means to quit, to quit. 끊다, to quit. Okay, so how can I conjugate it with 을게요? Now it's very simple, right? 끊, 끊, 끊. It ends with consonant, so I'm using 을게요, 끊을게요. So it means I will quit. For example, 침침 keep smoking. to keep smoking and I'm a doctor again <laughs> so I said Chim Chim if you keep smoking you will die early <laughs> and Chim Chim said <coughs> I don't know somehow uh, I cough a lot these days so I'm saying this it's all because of your uh, cigarette quit smoking quit smoking so I said <gasps> Chim Chim is saying oh, really I'll die early? Okay, I will quit smoking. I will quit smoking. 끊을게요. 끊을게 means I will quit. So how can I say I will quit smoking? In Korean, we say 담배를 를 끊을게요. 담배 means cigarette. So I'll quit cigarette. In Korean, we say not quit smoking, but we just say I'll quit cigarette. 담배를 끊을게요. 담배를 끊을게요. Uh, Rumana and Ali and someone from Cambodia. I'm sorry, I cannot read the Cambodian language. So, <laughs> but thank you so much for your comment on Facebook too. So, 담배를 끊을게요 means I will quit. I will quit a cigarette. Your cigarette. Okay, very good. Now, let's look at the last one. 기다리다. 기다리다. This is simple, isn't it? No. <laughs> it's simple. Because, well, because it's just end with vowel, so you need to put 을게요. So, as in 기다릴게요. You're good at conjugating this now, right? Because we practice a lot. So, 기다릴게요. I will wait. So, for example, I and Chim Chim are supposed to meet in front of a station today. But I'm telling Chim Chim, hey Chim Chim, 
I'm really sorry. I know we are supposed to meet at uh, 6 p.m. today, but I have a meeting at 5.30 and I might be a little bit late. I'm so sorry. And she just said, oh, don't worry. Don't worry. I wait. I will wait. I will wait. I will wait. I'll wait for you. So no problem. I can wait like one hour. <laughs> so I will wait. 기다릴게요. 기다릴게요. Okay. Good. <laughs> Julia, 너를 기다릴게. Good. And Myra, 기다릴게요. Awesome. Oh, Jeffrey, thanks for the donation. Thank you. I hope you learned a lot and you enjoy learning Korean with me. <laughs> okay, very good, everyone. You did an amazing work with the conjugation. Jan, the conjugation is not so difficult, right? So, Jan, so, so far, do you have any question? I think if you learn the future tense before, you probably have a question. You probably have a question. So, uh, like this. 짠. 으, 으, 거예요. Means, uh, be going to or will. So this is a future tense. One of the future tense in Korean. And actually, this is the most common and general future tense. So if you want to say uh, some general things, uh, tomorrow the weather will be good, or I will, I'm going to uh, go to Korea, some general future tense, this is the one. And this is what we learned today. So what's the difference between these two future tense? Two future tense, what's the difference? What's the difference? <laughs> As you probably notice, first, first difference is this. This future tense, 을 거예요. By the way, if you haven't learned this, I introduced this grammar a few weeks ago. So please check out my previous video. But anyways, this future tense is, uh, is used for anyone. It can be used for you, I, we, they, he, she, you can use it for this future tense. This one is only used for yourself or only uh, speaker. Speaker can say this. Speaker can say this. So the subject should always be I, I, or we. I, or we. So that's the first, first um, difference. And second difference is this. This one can be used for adjective, adjective. Tomorrow, the weather will be great. The weather will be great. This one, you cannot use it. Because basically, you have to promise. For this, you have to show your intention and promise. And that's why you can only use with action verb. Action verb. For example, for the weather, you cannot control that. It's impossible to control that. <laughs> so you cannot use it with adjective. But for action verb that you can actually act, then that's what you can control, you can promise, and you can do. It's, you can, it can be your intention. So please remember, this one can be used for a verb and adjective, but this one is used for the verb only. Verb only. And third difference is this. This one, you just talk about your general, uh, this is a just general future tense. General future tense. But this one can only be used if there is any listener. Listener. So usually, uh, when you promise something, you need a listener. You don't promise to nothing, right? <laughs> you can either promise to, I don't know, it can be uh, someone, listener, or maybe, um, I don't know, to the sky. <laughs> but anyway, when you make a promise, you need a listener. Someone, you need someone, but this one, um, in general, it's just what your decision, so uh, it's what will happen in the future. So you don't need a listener. It's something general. Of course, you can have the listener or not, it doesn't matter, but to make a promise, you always need a listener for the grammar that we learned today. And that's why this one is often colloquial. <laughs> You don't make a promise uh, so often when you uh, when you just write a book or something. But when you speak with other people, when you have a conversation, or when you even write a text, it's okay. 
text is okay. When you use a spoken form, very often you promise, oh, if there is any listener, you promise something. So this. So please remember, that's the big difference. So let me show you some example. Mm. So for this future tense, I can say, 청소, 청소할 거예요. Oops. 거예요. <laughs> this, this conjugation, I can say, 청, 청소할게요. So 청소할 거예요. This is a future tense. Future tense, right? So I'm, I'm entering Shimshim's room and shock. The room is extremely dirty. And Shimshim is saying, I'm going to clean it. I'm going to clean it. 청소할 거예요. Then it sounds like, it sounds like, I'm going to clean it. I'm going to clean it. Even before I enter Cajun, before I enter, I already made this decision. This is just my plan. It was already decided. So I'm going to clean it. I'm going to clean it. But if you say 청소할게요 means, oh, I, I'm, this person is now responding to me. He didn't make a decision before, but after listening to me, okay, let me clean it. I promise you, let me clean it. <laughs> it shows your intention. So this one clearly shows your future plan, future plan. It was already decided before me saying anything. So it's simply future plan. This one, this one 청소할게요 is a your promise, your promise. You, you made this decision because of me. Do you see the difference? This one, it's not because of me. It was already decided. It was just planned. This one, you decided it and you promised me, promised me because, because I said something. So that's the difference. This one, simple future tense. This one, promise. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got a lot of examples on Shot the soju. Very good. 한국어 열심히 공부할게. Very good. Good job. <laughs> and KD, 병원에 갈게요. 갈 거예요. Oh, so you are going to a hospital. And you are going to study. You will study. You show your promise, intention. That's very good. <laughs> okay. So, this is a big difference, but when you want to talk about your future plan in general, use this grammar, but if you want to show your intention and promise as a first person, use this grammar. That's a big difference. Okay. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Good job today. Jan, I have a homework for you, for those of you who want to practice even more. So, Jan, please conjugate these phrases with 을게요 or 을게. So for example, I'm a teacher and Chim Chim is a bad student. <laughs> he doesn't come to school. So I'm saying, come to school. You should uh, study at school. And Chim Chim is saying, oh, okay, I will go to school. I promise you, I go to school. 학교에 가다 plus 을게요. And again, I'm a doctor. <laughs> and I'm telling Chim Chim, eat more vegetables for your health. And Shim Shim said, okay, I will eat more vegetables. 채소를 먹다 plus 을게요. By the way, 학교 means school. 에 means to. 가다. To go. So it means go to school. 채소 means vegetables. Or another way to say uh, vegetables is 야채. 야채. 르 object marking particle. 먹다 means to eat. So to eat vegetables is 채소를 먹다. Or 야채를 먹다. And now we are friends. So Imagine, I love Chim Chim. I like Chim Chim. So Chim Chim, um, I want to keep in touch with you. So do you have an Instagram account? Can I get your Instagram um, ID? And Chim Chim say, oh, I don't have, but I don't have. So I said, oh, really? How can I keep in touch with you? And Chim Chim say, okay, I will. I promise you, I will make an Instagram account. Instagram account. So Instagram is how we Korean people say Instagram in Korean. Instagram, Instagram. Or you can only say Insta, Insta, because Instagram is too long. So Insta is okay. U, object marking particle. 만들다 means to make. So it literally means to make Instagram, to make Instagram. Well, in English, you say to make an Instagram account or create an Instagram account. But in Korean, we just say 
어, make Instagram, make Instagram, 인스타그램을 만들다. So please conjugate it and leave a comment on our YouTube channel or Facebook comment of Korean Class 101. And if you personally want me to check, this is my Instagram account. So please let me know. Super cage. Okay, thank you so much for joining today's class. The uh, lesson got long, <laughs> but Jean, I'll be back next week too. Oh, by the way, if you want, you can take a screenshot. I know a lot of you want to take a screenshot, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah. Oh, maybe this is better. Jean, you can take a screenshot. <laughs> Did you take a photo? <laughs> You can take a, a screenshot of this and do your homework. Good. <laughs> okay, so my favorite, <laughs> my favorite screen. <laughs> okay, so, Jan, if you just joined the live class, don't forget to get these free cheat, cheat sheets to practice Korean vocabulary, phrases, and expressions, and culture. These cheat sheets are completely free. If you click the link in the description and sign up for Korean class account. Okay. <laughs> oh, so, uh, so you just joined and leaving. <laughs> okay. Next week. Can you see this? May 25th. <laughs> yes. Every Thursday, 1 p.m. as usual in Korean time, by the way. By the way, in your country, the time will be different. So check out the clock. But anyway, 1 p.m. in Korean time on May 25th or every Thursday, I'll be running a live streaming. Next week's topic is this. Practice, ri practice writing in Korean with free workbook. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so next week, we are going to talk about some uh, time-related words with free worksheets. So you need to prepare a notebook next week <laughs> or a printer or, or anything so you can practice writing. Let's practice writing together because I'm going to write something on free workbooks. So let's practice together. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining today's live. And I'll see you next week. Uh, Mayera, Stoa, Sumi, KB, Anshat, <laughs> Enzo, Shristi, and Veronique, Stoa. Okay, so 감사합니다. 다음 주에 봐요. Bye bye.